Hello guys. Hey, you ever um, wondered how to test if my head gas is leaking or not? Um, there's a simple way to test this, and usually if your head gas is leaking and you're having an overheating problem, or you're having a, a slight idling problem, or some kind of symptom that you just can't figure out, and you suspect it could be a head gasket or something like that, well they got a tool that they call a block tester, okay? And what this block tester does, it detects combustion gases into your antifreeze. Cause, because if you have um, a bad head gasket or something like that, you have, you know, over 100 pounds of compression in the cylinder and maybe 15 in the cooling system. So the exhaust gases will overtake and come back up into the cooling system. So what you want to do is get you a block tester. And you, these are inexpensive. This is a very inexpensive one here, about a $30 block tester. <clears throat> um, some of the auto parts tools, um, stores will loan the tools to you and stuff. But what you're going to do, you'll have this test fluid, okay? And you'll notice it's a blue collar. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the test fluid, and there's a line here on the block tester, okay? You simply pour the fluid in until you get to that line, all right? Now, once you get to that line with the motor running, um, and you might want to let the motor run because sometimes it'll leak more when it's warm than it will cold sometimes. So what you're going to do, you're going to put this down in and you're going to hold it there. Okay, now this bobber has a check valve on the one end. What you're going to do, you're going to sit here and you're going to squeeze and you'll see the air coming up through here. Now you want to do this for a couple minutes, and you might even be able to just barely rev the motor up some if you want to to enhance this test. But now the other thing that I forgot to mention there, <clears throat> you want to make sure that your coolant level is an inch or two below this thing because you don't want this liquid getting into the coolant, and you don't want the coolant to get up into this test mixture liquid. So for a couple minutes you're going to sit here and you're going to squeeze the bobber. That way you'll be getting the gas from there. So, like I say, if you have a head gasket leaking, what's going to happen is this fluid will turn yellow, all right? As you can see here, I know that there's nothing wrong with this motor. I'm just using this for uh, to demonstration purposes. But it's a simple test, and you just keep doing this, and if your head gasket or you're getting combustion gas in there somewhere, it will turn this collar. Okay, now... <clears throat> Say I have a, a V8 motor, V6 or whatever with two different banks on. You can further this test, but you got to be <coughs> careful because you really don't want to run it a long time um, this way because you can do damage to your catalytic converter. Um, if you know that you do this first initial test and you know you have exhaust gases, and you know you're going to be tearing the motor apart anyway, I suggest disconnecting the catalytic converter before proceeding on to the next test. <clears throat> now, the thing is, you can take, and this is a V8 motor, so what I would do is I would pick one side of the motor and I pull all the spark plug wires off, okay? So I disable the spark on that side of the motor. Then I would start the vehicle up. <clears throat> well, you're going to have to let it run for five minutes to ten minutes, something like that, that way. You might have to try to keep it RPMs up a little bit or something to keep it running, because a lot of motors will be really hard to keep running that way. But you're going to set a uh, check engine lighting off, but you know why you're setting that off, because you disabled the spark. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to do that until you can purge the antifreeze system of all the burnt gases in there. Okay, so now with your motor running rough because you got half the plug wires off, you're going to put this back on here with new liquid and you're going to squeeze the bobber. Okay, now <clears throat> if you don't let it purge out good enough, this may turn slightly green, but if you disable the four cylinders on one side and you're doing this squeeze test and it does not turn yellow, then you know that that is the bank that's causing your problems. But like I say, if if you disable the spark, it won't burn none of the gases in the combustion chamber, and unburned gas will not set this tester off. It's only combustion gas that will um, set the tester off. So that's just one way of knowing whether you have to tear both sides of the motor down or not. Um, 
a lot of people prefer to go ahead and tear both sides down and replace both, but you know, it depends on um, your situation whether you want to do that or not, like that. Now, I hope you can see this. Seems how I know this vehicle was not going to make the fluid change. I figured I'd come back here to the exhaust and do a little sniff test so you can see what it does when the fluid changes colors. Now, see, you can see because I'm picking up exhaust gas, you can see that that fluid is no longer blue and it has turned collars. Okay, so that's what it's going to do up in your radiator if you have a uh, leak in there. So I just wanted to do that to kind of show you what the fluid does so you know. Okay, thank you for watching.